But hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And today we're going to talk about something that maybe you should quit doing if you're using spinning tackle. If you don't know this trick, it might save you a lot of headache. Now I got to navigate down this hill. Slowly. <laughs> like my walking stick. <laughs> oh. Now, you make a cast, and you're, you're working it in. And the fish hits, you set the hook, and you start reeling them in. Boom. Now, as long as when you're fighting that fish, you're turning this handle, and you're gaining line, everything is okay. Working like a charm. But, if you're like me on that rare occasion when a fish hits that thing and he doubles it over and you start pulling them in and it's a whopper and you're reeling in and you hear a noise, listen close. If you hear that sound right there, stop what you're doing. You'll find out why if you keep on. Every time you turn that handle and you hear that sound, it's not taking in any line. It's twisting that line. Have you ever took a rubber band and cut it and just twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it, stretch it out and let go of it and watch what happens? Every time you're turning your real handle and hearing that noise, this is what's happening to your line. You're putting twists in it every single time that handle turns. And see what happens when it gets slack in it. That thing knots up like crazy. It's the same thing you're doing to your line when that reel is making that noise. So if you just keep on reeling while that noise is going on, all in the world you're doing is twisting your line up. If you're lucky enough to land the fish, as long as there's tension on that line, it's gonna be okay. But when you unhook him, the minute that that line gets slack in it, it starts twisting and knotting up. So let's say you did that. Now your line is all twisted up. What in the world do you do? If you can get some, get the end of your line and keep tension on it and pull it out, you just keep pulling that line out. And the object is to pull every bit of that line off your spool. Let it trail along behind the boat as the boat's moving. Then reel it all back in. And when you reel it in, it will kind of untwist it and then straighten it out for you. Tie your bait back on and you're probably good to go. But if you're not in a boat, you can do the same thing on land. What I do is, is find me something to put a, make a rod holder, put my rod in it, then take the end of my line and just walk and walk and walk till it gets all the way down to the knot and all the line is off the spool. Now make sure you don't have a weight or a lure or anything on the end of your line. Then walk back to where your rod's at and you pick it up, keep, keep tension on your line with your other hand while you wind it in and it'll untwist as you wind it in. Tie your lure back on it and then you're good to go. Now I know all you anglers out there, probably most of you already knew this little trick, but just in case someone didn't, maybe it can help you out one day. And always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.